Welcome to Adapters by Marion Webster. Both spellings are correct. A device for connecting two parts of an apparatus, as in two different diameters. Respiratory therapy is a profession rich with equipment and the corresponding adapters. At first glance, the sheer number of equipment connections can seem overwhelming. Fortunately, there are only two general categories of adapters, as shown in the next slide. This presentation, then, will hopefully make the learner more aware and more comfortable with the various types of adapters and connections. Oh, by the way, happy uh, Respiratory Care Week. Here's the two general categories of adapters. Circuit side adapters, which is 22 millimeters, and airway side adapters, which is 15 millimeters, and of course the corresponding male and female for both. Let's start with something we're all very familiar with, blue corrugated tubing. Let's look at the end of it. The end is 22 millimeter ID, internal diameter, which is always known as female. Nothing fits over this, only something fits in it, the male adapter that is. Here's another 22 millimeter ID adapter. Not to be confused with this Briggs T adapter, which has ends that are 22 millimeter OD or male. In fact, the ends of a Briggs T adapter, the two tubular ends, not the part that attaches to an airway, is the same size as another common adapter, which is shown here, the 22 outer diameter male which can fit into either the blue corrugated tubing or this adapter shown. Those are the things that fit 22 OD male and 22 ID female for obvious reasons. Two adapters of the same size will not fit together such as in this case such as the 22 ID females not fitting together nor do the 22 OD males. Okay, now what about the other, the airway side adapters, the 15 millimeter? A good example might be this uh, Ballard inline suction catheter elbow, if you use those at your hospital, which can connect to an endotrachea. The end of the tracheostomy or trach tube itself has an adapter that's known as a 15 millimeter OD male because it fits into a 15 millimeter ID female. Also, the Center port on the Briggs T adapter has a 15 millimeter ID. Now also there's some transitional and multi-use pieces such as a common adapter you might find that has both a 22 millimeter OD on the outer edge so that it can connect to a piece of blue tubing but on the inside has a 15 millimeter female so that it could connect uh, directly to airways or HMEs. Uh, below you see a, t a filter, uh, and one end of the filter has a 22 ID female, and the other end has a 22 OD male. Uh, if this were an HME, the 22 millimeter OD end might have a 15 millimeter airway attachment on the inside. Clear as mud? Well, here's an example of one of the things I'm talking about. This is actually a ventilator Y. And the ventilator wire has several connections on it. Uh, right here, it has a 22 millimeter matching male-female adapter. On this end, it has a 15 millimeter OD male and a 15 millimeter, uh, sorry, you can't see that. There, 15 millimeter OD female and a 15 millimeter OD male. And of course, the end that hooks up to the airway on this elbow is 15 millimeter uh, internal diameter female for the airway adapter. Um, I'll, be, I'll uh, get some other things. Here's a common problem adapting a nebulizer for a ventilator patient. One way to do it might be to put the nebulizer uh, before the Y. Uh, some, although some Data suggests that the further back that you put the nebulizer on the inspiratory line, the better. Uh, put it before the Y, and you can see this nebulizer has a Briggs T type adapter, and I've used an extra piece of blue tubing there to connect it. If you're going to put the adapter in front of the HME, as some do, then of course you'd need, we have two uh, 20. Uh, the outer, the outer edge of this thing, the inner edge, of course, is uh, 15 millimeter, but the outer edge is 22 millimeter 
OD. There, it took a 22 millimeter a female adapter, this, in order to connect this end of the nebulizer. Now, some of these nebulizers are made with a multi uh, different uh, size ends on the T, which is very helpful so you don't have to have this adapter, so that it could attach to the front of the ventilator Y. Now, on this end, this is, of course, a 22 female, and it won't go over the 22 male, so I need another adapter, which I'm going to go get. Okay, I found it. Again, this is a 22 millimeter on the outside, 15 millimeter on the inside, so I can connect my uh, airway adapter to it. So now I have ventilator Y. The only thing I'm missing here is an HME. Uh, some people choose to put their nebulizers in front of the Y and in front of the HME. Uh, as such, here's an example of an HME that has 22 millimeter uh, outer diameter male fitting uh, on one side and a fitting on the other end is the 20, uh, 15 millimeter male that fits together with a 15 for the airway so that this type of device will make the transition from circuit side to airway side. Finally, here's one more piece uh, that I got out that makes the transition from circuit side 22 millimeter. This is actually 22 millimeter ID female and it's a expandable device that on the other end will adapt to 15 millimeter female. So it can attach, this end can actually attach to the airway or to the elbow that then is attached to the airway. That's one more transitional piece.